Yeah, you know, not my prettiest round of golf. Uh, started off a bit, didn't really have my rhythm today. Was a bit all over the place, grinding through. And then, uh, you know, the first bit of good fortune or luck that I had was pull a long putt on 11 and kind of said to my caddy, you know, this is like the fourth quarter of a game. Now let's get back into it and, you know, manage to play a good back nine and play myself back into the tournament. So I'm pretty proud of the way I came back. Uh, you know, it's never easy to win golf tournaments. I've been around a long time to know that uh, wins don't come easy and this one wasn't pretty but you know I came good when I when it mattered most and to finish the way I did uh, the last three holes uh, pretty happy with myself when you're in a playoff uh, it's a situation where you're going for broke so for me I wasn't looking at anything else but the flag I wasn't trying to make par I knew I'd have to make birdie if I had to beat a player of Rashid's caliber and you know uh, I just got lucky today uh, any win is special obviously Big Jeev event makes it even more special for me. But uh, to win on the PGTI, you know, this is going to be one of my most special wins uh, when I look back at my career when it's all said and done. Their family is, is like my second family. Uh, you know, he's like the older brother I never had. Uh, you know, we're still very, very close. Uh, I live at his house uh, in London every time I'm there. You know, so the European tour, if it wasn't for him and the guidance that I had from him, uh, I won't be half the player that I am. The season's really just begun for me rather than ending. And, uh, you know, obviously taking a lot of positives into it. I'm obviously encouraged with the work that I put in. It's nice to see all the effort that I put in in practice and in the gym is paying off. And, you know, now I'm just looking forward to the next few weeks and hopefully get another win.